Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. Today, we're going to be talking about Mortal Kombat 11. Thank you very much for joining us here on the stream and on the videos because Mortal Kombat 11 story trailer dropped today and I am curious to see how it goes. Um, if you haven't been playing Mortal Kombat for the last few years, if you have been playing Mortal Kombat, then fair play to you. You've probably seen the trailer already. Aren't you excited? I am. I'm just haven't even seen it yet. Uh, Mortal Kombat 9 came out in 2012? 2011? 2012? I think? 2012? Um, so Mortal Kombat 9 came out and pretty much the entire history of the Mortal Kombat franchise got rewritten. They literally did a whole, you must go back in time and prevent it from happening. And then played through Mortal Kombat 1, 2, 3, all the way up to essentially what um, became Mortal Kombat Armageddon as the series of games went from the 2D era to the 3D era. So that was a lot of games kind of condensed down. All like, I think it was seven out of those. I think one of those were in the middle of like, it wasn't actually in continuity or so on. But yeah, up to Armageddon. It was all condensed down into one story and they rejigged some stuff around to kind of get their plotting and people and characters switched around a wee bit. And then they made a sequel to it in Mortal Kombat 10, which kind of uh, introduced another element to it because things that happened in 9 meant that other characters that should have been there weren't there and people who weren't there were there and stuff went wrong. And because it all went wrong, Raiden now has red eyes. <laughs> like that's ostensibly two video games pretty much brings us down to the one thing that Raiden, the god, the protector, the defender of Earthrealm himself is now being slightly corrupted by a bit of a bad attitude you might want to say if you check out checked out the previous prologue trailer video it just showed him just just being cruel and unusual to one of his other elder gods literally a head on a pike just sitting inside his office you know one of the things you walk past and like push it and it just wobbles back and forth like an office toy i think that was what his intention was but um it ties in with the actual ending at the credits of Mortal Kombat 10. this our first look at the story trailer other than like the prologue and continuing on where we left off so i'm curious to know what we got um i'm going to actually be probably kind of right striked for this if i put the full audio on full so you may not be able to hear all the things going on in the trailer because i might be trying to talk over the top of them or turning the audio down to avoid it but we'll see how it goes and i'll check this out now i'm chronica keeper of time right so we've actually been introduced to that character in the previous kind of trailers um Time is fucked, and things must be fixed. That's Shinnok, that's the guy who got killed. And that's the leader of the Elder Gods, the, the leader of the Never Realm now, or the Dark Realm. Holy crap, this is going through pretty fast. Hang on, never mind. fuck this, I'm just gonna have to watch. We may draw upon allies from both eras. I offer a greater empire in the new era. Will your outworld armies defend it? So... People have been brought back, characters have been revived because they said you're going to put realm versus realm, but reality versus reality? I will have my scouts track Shao Kahn. Can't someone, anyone, explain to me what the hell is going on, right? I've been in the future for a whole hour and I haven't seen one jetpack. <laughs> Not one. Hey, from rock bottom with God, Johnny's going to hit himself. So I like this. Uh, Aaron Black's in there at least, so it's a lot of story characters in there. I'm not too excited. These characters I know that are going to be shown in this aren't actually in the game, probably because I can have it of that. But we're going to see different versions from different timelines hanging out with each other. So Sonya hanging out with Sonya, Johnny with Johnny. The realms are in crisis. Every being will be erased in a temporal Armageddon. Find Veronica's key and gain control of her hourglass. Only then will time's momentum be restored. The time is all time is one time now. Take out another realm's army now. Which is a good idea. Eminem is the backing track, fair enough. Oh man, this is one of those ones you're gonna want. I'm gonna wanna go through and fucking fine tooth comb in slow motion. As my strength gathers, the new era draws ever closer. And a little bit of gameplay, finally. <laughs> and of course, fatalities. Jackie looks cool. I actually like the design. I like her actually in full body armor or full me mechanicized rather than just the arms. Oh! It's, that doesn't even feel like... Oh god, I, I was trying to use the mouse to control that. So yeah, available on the 23rd. 
Uh, we need to go back through that, and I need to think about a couple of things because uh, uh, no, go no, I don't need that. Don't need any gym position in my day right now. Um, right, so more Combat Eleven trailer looks amazing. Um, just one of those things where the car, the car. All right, so after after Never uh, Never Realms released uh, Injustice Two, I was really excited to see more of their um, their story modes because. The, the opening shots, the opening scenes of Injustice 2, where you see uh, Supergirl on Krypton as it's being destroyed by Brainiac, uh, literally just see the facial animation. I was going like, "Wow, they are not, they are not uncomfortable about getting into people's faces and getting really detailed in it." And you get the little nuances and tweaks of people's like reactions and stuff that were actually just, this is really high quality uh, cutscene animation. This is a, this is a, a CGI movie. That's super entertaining to watch. You're never ever going to need to see the detail like that in the actual fighting scenes. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, scenes don't, that interact with the fight scenes like that. So literally have scenes that just roll into a fight. Um, let's see my Tekken kind of changes the game with that where you literally have cutscenes that just like literally the camera pans around the cutscene and then you just, you're in the fight scene and it's like, fight! Oh, fuck you, fine. Um, World Combat and Injustice kind of how we're close to that point, but weren't quite there yet. And I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with more Combat 11 to see if they, they integrate that even more so into the storyline mode. Uh, from what I could gather in that first little look, it was uh, this timekeeper is obviously frozen time, pulling people from different time uh, time periods and throwing them together. So you have people who are, nearly anybody who could have died, anybody who's been killed, anybody who's failed from Mortal Kombat 9 up to now is going to be absolutely fine to bring back. So you saw Kung Lao, young Kung Lao and young Liu Kang uh, specifically, Liu Kang was uh, now him and Katana, Katana are head, essentially the heads of, um, yeah, I'm going to say Underworld, Overworld, Dark Realm. Um, I'm trying to remember what Shao Kahn's realm is actually called. Is it the Nether Realm? <laughs> it's just a, I'm trying to say like Nether World or Nether Realm. Um, they're actually like they're. God, it's actually uh, the, the worst thing is I know it's actually in the back of my head, but I'm kind of too busy thinking about the next thing I want to say to actually go back and file facts for that, like roll through the Rolodex for the name of it. But um, the actual, uh, they're, they're the leaders now and have obviously, they're on the side of the Timekeeper and they're essentially going to be battling against the Earthrealmers with other characters we saw pop up there. I mean, Guide the of the realm. I wish this wouldn't be in the way. But yeah, got bits and pieces of I'm going to wait until we actually get a new character. But yeah, we can actually obviously see. All right. Baraka. Who was that actually? It was, it was the new version of Scarlet. Destiny of the Scarlet's new costume design. Um, we've seen that obviously in gameplay that they've actually released already. So curious to see uh, who's all on that side. So Scarlet, Aaron Black. Really, really young Kano. <laughs> that was actually, I was like Kano, Kano, that was Kano, like Mortal Kombat 2, but bald as well. Are we chatting other realities? Because that was a very... Very bald Kano. Um, who is that with? These two? Hang on. We may draw on. I'm going to need to actually take that again because there was a moment there where it's actually... The, these are obviously two sides lined up with each other. Shao Kahn! Young Shao Kahn! Here's this. I'm trying to find out who it is. I can actually let play to it. Liu Kang, obviously, from the Sands of Time. Who is that? Oh, is that Jade? So I'm just seeing the pole in the pocket and the green stripes. I'm pretty sure that must be Jade. And um, yeah, Young Kang Lao. Devora is actually looking interesting there in the background too. This this is one of those ones like I remember whenever Who the fuck's that? Impish looking motherfucker. Um so many. Car. We have common car. I'm actually just curious to know what we can do. Like I I wanna see the, each of these in gameplay. Um, some of them we have seen, some of them we haven't, and I've been trying to keep track of this, but I'm sure there's been a few more released. Uh, I do like the fact that they have young and old Johnny just bantering each other. Like, that was kind of one of the funnier, the funnest parts of the last couple of games was actually the Johnny Cage being a comedy. He actually really is, and a younger version of him alongside his like serious dad version or dad bod Johnny Cage is going to be entertaining just to listen to. I wonder if we actually fight some of those scorpions as well. No? Well, speaking of scorpions. <laughs> oh, man. 
So Cassie and her mom. I thought for a second there that might have actually been uh, two Sonyas, but it's actually Cassie and her, uh, Cassie and Sonya Blade. Cassie Cage and Sonya Blade. Cassie Blade. Maybe she actually said take the mother's name after a while. And there's um, <laughs> mutton chops. See, this is the Kano that actually reminds me of your man that played him in the movie. Put a smile on your friend's face, though. So. Ear, shh, to ear. <laughs> Give it up, baby. I know all your moves. Oh, that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to get that. See the skull face that was there? Is that was that? Um, didn't know if that was actually Melina or well, it's definitely not Melina because I actually know uh, evil Baraka face. I, that's the third time I've missed it. <laughs> I've no precision control here. And uh, yeah, Cassie and her mom. All right, there we go. I was curious, like she thought that that's one of the, just looking across those and going like, all right, is there anybody there that isn't like a creative, a creative character? We've got Baraka's there. Nah, none of these are actually, I was, these are all just like, look at all the armor pieces you can get. <laughs> that's what it's going to come down to. Uh, there's a, maybe a fair level of customization available and these all look like Shao Kahn customizations. Maybe the one on the far left, maybe for um, Kotal Kahn, maybe as well. But uh, there's <laughs> all these are like parts you can just probably buy for character unlocks. Um, I do like the skull face pin though. Elder gods, the realms are in crisis. Raiden crying to all the, Raiden crying to the elder gods. Now that's the thing. Raiden is is that Raiden doesn't look like um I'm going to murder everyone, Raiden. That looks like another Raiden that's actually been brought in for the purposes of actually fixing this shit. And that would make sense. So is the context Oh god, I was just making sure it was audio was still for producing okay yep sorry um the context of the of the raiden that actually is calling for help is that the raiden that actually does not care for anybody attacking earth realm anymore or are we just giving up on the fact that like, that even that raiden might be dead at this point <laughs> you don't know how fucked the timeline really is you didn't think about it this all boils back to raiden saying like we must win back in mortal kombat 9. Three, be erased in a temporal armageddon Find Kronika's key and gain control of her hourglass. Bit of a travel around the world. Whose face was that? Only then will time's momentum... Young looking Aaron Black. I actually like that too. So even with the fact that you think about... Um, we have characters that have appeared new. Like Cassie and Aaron and whatever else. And uh, I would like to see younger versions of them. You know, like essentially before they're looking as haggard as they do even in 9 and 10. Like Devora, I'm imagining, is actually meant to be a younger version of her as well. So the... I'm, I'm looking forward to just timelines allowing us to see some really good skin differences. Um, well, one thing I do not want to see is skin packs for seal. That'll, uh, that'll, that'll annoy the shit out of me. But at least if the ones that are actually appearing in the storyline mode are unlocked through the gameplay, that's absolutely fine. Because even I went back to play through Mortal Kombat XL and I was there going like, oh, I'll check out all the costumes. Wow, there's not that many good costumes. Oh, but they're still selling three or four packs of costumes with the XL version. Um, it's DLC, man. You need to have it. Cabal being Cabal. <laughs> Just dodging shit. Alright, so that thing is, right, that looked like the Raiden that was actually the badass Raiden, angry Raiden. So, or, or have we got multiple Raidens? We have to have. Because that, that that's asshole Raiden in the background of those shots. And this looks like Hanzo versus himself. There's going to be a Scorpion versus Scorpion fight. Alright, I'm on board. Holding the line. Angry Raiden. Angry Raiden. You can tell with the red lightning. Lightning blades. Jackie Briggs. I'm curious which ones are not going to be around anymore. As, uh, so I'm trying to keep track of it. This is actually all getting into gameplay now into fatalities and stuff, which look cool. Um, fatalities are looking interesting. I'm looking forward to the actual, like, the critical strike things that they're going with. That's the young Aaron Black, too. That's pretty cool. Oh! Oh! Super entertaining! You're next! Ah, oh, man. Ah! Oh. I'm look at Mortal Kombat. Um, it's one of those game series that I'm going to actually... I'm going to say that I was never good at. I completely and utterly accept that I was garbage at Mortal Kombat. But whenever I got to play it, it was always super entertaining to play it with friends. And especially if you started... If you played with somebody who knew it a little bit better than you. It was a comfortable challenge. Uh, right. So after watching that trailer, I'm hyped. 
I don't know if you're hyped, but they, there's a whole bunch of stuff in there that I tried to unpack, but it's all coming out as just tumbling out random nonsense if you don't know anything about the game. So maybe this might have got you excited along with me, but I don't know if it was. Um, if there's there's a, a few concerns I've been hearing from people that have played the game, busy been over to uh, the actual studios and got hands on with it for a period of time. I'm probably going. I'm going to try and get into the beta and try and get some gameplay footage out for you guys to see with the characters that are available in the open beta, which starts on the eighth of March. So we we don't have long to wait until it actually lands at our door because I think it's actually what late late March is actually released at the say the twenty fourth was it twenty fourth of March is released but eighth of March uh, or twenty fourth of April and eighth of March is the uh, the first beta that they're going to be doing and it's a stress test beta so expect problems but I'm sure we'll be able to get to understand some of the mechanics that go along with that um, from what I've heard the game is running a bit slower than other Mortal Kombat's have, which to me isn't a problem. Uh, one of the biggest problems I had with the Mortal Kombat series was uh, people's dash in, dash in combos, and uh, unless you had meter to burn, you couldn't break out of a combo. It, it, it drove me around the bend. I'm, I'm, I'm just, just because I'm not good at the game, it was, I was never prepared for it. But uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what way they've changed up the character. One thing I hope they have in the beta is a little bit of the customization, uh, allow you to actually get in and play around with outfits, costumes, and uh, loadouts of skills. I think they actually have set that up so that you do, there's some things that are mutually exclusive from you. You can't have this attack if you want to have this attack, but it's not tied into the clothing. It's just kind of like your uh, your variation on that character's playstyle. So that's, that takes what is a decent character roster and then gives you um, not infinite variety, but uh, a chance to actually kind of discover who's best for you, what way works best for you. And then if you're in the competitive mode, it allows you to actually kind of get into the meta of things as well. So yeah, that actually sounds like a bit of a Looking forward to it. Oh, Mortal Kombat back again. And it's one thing for Mortal Kombat kind of fits. It always hits really comfortably with me because it hits around about April time whenever they release them. It's always a birthday time for me. So it'd be one of those games that I actually uh, I would have asked for and tried to entertain myself with over that period of time. I think be trying that out around about that same period. So um, yeah, Mortal Kombat 11. Trailer's out. You want to go and see another version of it? I probably I'm going. I, I want to do more with this, so I might grab the trailer out and just stretch it out and take a look to see how it slowed down because there's a lot of quick cuts in there. Um, if you <laughs> you remember, whenever Mortal Kombat 10 came out, I actually did the trailer uh, because it was the one with um, uh, System of a Down playing over the top of it, and when it, it, like you just slowed down the video and I can slow down the tune. It was like this weird uh, like version of the song. I might do something like that again, but also kind of intercut with my opinions. And we'll post that up at a later point. But this time, this is just a quick reaction. Be done during the live stream while I was actually on the day of release. So hope to actually keep you guys entertained with more Mortal Kombat news in the future. And of course, feel free to check out the series Fight Me, uh, which is actually literally me just playing fighting games here on the channel. I've got a couple ones I want to dig through and jump into really soon. I've got a... Um, I, I want to play through a bit of, Final, of um, King of Fighters 13 on the PS3, because it actually was a... Uh, free game in the last month's kind of stuffs for uh, PS Plus so I want to actually give a good pro proper solid swipe at that so that'll probably be the next episode of Fight Me if you want to check that out and then we'll probably have the Mortal Kombat 11 stuff as soon as the beta goes live thank you very much for watching if you happen to be watching this on YouTube feel free to hit any of the boxes that are floating around my head or even the special one the subscribe box right over the top of my face then go down to the bell below hit it so you get notified whenever new videos come out and if you feel like supporting this channel there is of course patreon.com forward slash past each of skin and a bunch of other ways to do so without spending any of your money in the description below thank you very much for watching and I will see all you dudes in the next video bye